Hey guys, Ryan from Snowwalker Bushcraft, and today I want to talk about another method of starting fire. Um, it's a fire piston. It's been around since the 1800s. Uh, it was actually discovered in Indonesia um, in the Eurasian countries that were using these. Um, there was a, a patent actually in 1807 in England for the fire piston. And the reason why they gave up on the fire pistons was because they invented the match. So just a little bit of history uh, with this. Fire piston works on a principle of compression. Basically it's like a diesel engine. You take air over a very short duration, push it in, heats the air, and it actually heats up the air to about 800 degrees, which is actually going to ignite the tinder that you put down in the bottom of your plunger. Now, what I have here actually is I have two versions of a fire piston. And one is a older version, and one is the new modern versions. And I'll explain them to you. The old versions were usually made out of water horn, and there was actually a string that was wound, and it was greased with basically grease, fat or tallow, to seal the plunger as it goes in. And as you can see, it doesn't want to go down all the way. And that's what you want because you're compressing the air. All right. The modern versions that we have right now, the cylinder itself is made of metal. It's actually sealed by a modern O-ring. We have a relief valve at the end. The relief valve actually lets us push the plunger all the way down and we can tighten it and then this way we won't lose the plunger. Okay, and then when we go to use it, we have our compression rate. Okay? So, uh, a couple things about fire pistons. It's probably my own fault because I don't practice with them enough. But one of the reasons why I don't practice with them enough is because I don't feel the coal is big enough to use on a daily basis. Um, what I've done to actually combat that is I like to uh, light my tinder bundle uh, one of two ways. And I'm going to show you both methods as long as everything works out. Um, what I actually do is the same thing when I carry a lens is... I do have a little bit of char cloth, but what I do is I have two boxes filled right now with charred material or natural charred material. Um, this is tinder fungus and horseshoe fungus that is mixed in with wood from bow drill fires that's left over, the wood dust. Uh, it has some charred cattail in it. This one is the same thing, it has charred cattail. It has tinder fungus in there, which would be your chaga. Uh, it also has horse hoof fungus in it as well. If I was going to run out of char cloth, I could use what's in here as tinder for the fire piston. Another thing that you can use is a milkweed ovum. You can use mullen pith. Um, I've had most success by using char cloth. And again, it's probably my own fault because I haven't practiced enough. So, uh, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take a little bit of char cloth right here, and I'm gonna show you one method of how I actually light my tinder bundle. You load your piston, and I'm actually gonna keep this real, guys, and I'll, I'll show you the finickiness of a fire piston if it doesn't work right away. Okay. I load my piston. My relief valve is closed. Smack it. It didn't light. That's number one. Still not. That's two. Third try. 
Okay? Now you can see the coal. Again, it's not very big. What I like to do is I like to drop it in to my box that has my charred material and my tinder fungus. And I let it grow in there. Okay, this way, I'll now have a larger coal that I could take from. We have a tinder bundle here. Okay, tinder bundle preparation again is very, very important. All right. And then I cover this up. out the rest and let that smolder. It's not going to hurt it. I can go back in and dip into it. There you go. Alright guys, so another method to, uh, you know, an alternate method of lighting your tinder bundle. Okay, I reloaded the plunger again. We'll put it in. Okay. Drop it back down into our, in our tinder box. Take advantage of our tinder box and what we have in it. All right. To let the coal grow again.
and just bring a small amount of tinder up to your box. Okay. There you go. And then take this and put this into your bigger tinder bundle. Okay, close your box up. Just let it go. And then you can add to that. Um, it's just another method of doing it. That's one of the methods that I use when I'm using a, a magnifying lens. I'll actually take the magnifying lens and I'll put it right into my into my box. Okay, I create a coal. Now this is all replenishable. Okay. You find tinder fungus, you know, scrape it up, put it in there, take your wood, your bow drill dust, add it into here, um, your uh, horse hoof fungus when you're processing it out if you want. You keep adding it to these, right? It's a renewable resource. Punk wood, you can take it, you can light it on fire, put it in here, let it smolder, okay, it basically turns into charcoal. You can add all those things to it and carry one of these. Um, I'm not happy with fire pistons, uh, you know, uh, again, it's probably my own fault because I don't practice them enough, but uh, it is another option, it is out there, um, the speculation is that the long hunters and the mountain men had these, uh, they had the technology, so it's possible that they did have them, so uh, if you have any questions, comments, and concerns about it, let me know, I'd like to hear from you, uh, again, this is Brian from Snow Walker Bushcraft. Uh, thank you for your views and thank you for your comments. And until the next one, take it easy.